Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about a movie that no one really talks about anymore. 1970s forgotten biker flick, Little Foss and Big Halsey. Little Foss and Big Halsey, man, they make a winning team. This is easily one of Robert Redford's most obscure films. The rumor has always been that Redford doesn't like the movie and the sleazy character he plays, and that's why it's received such shoddy treatment on home video. If that's true, that's a shame. Redford is quite good in the film. It's one of his best performances. He does play a cad, a, a good-looking, selfish bastard in the mode of uh, Paul Newman's HUD. Now, this was sold as a motorcycle movie, but it's a realistic one. These guys aren't Hell's Angels on wheels, they're, they're poor drifters, going from town to town chasing the motorcycle racing circuit. It's like a lower class version of Redford's uh, Downhill Racer. The screenplay is by Charles Eastman, and it got a lot of attention at the time. The screenplay was one of the first to be published as a hardcover book. I've read the script, it, it's probably better than the film. The prose is quite good but that can be deceiving as a screenplay. Eastman writes beautifully about the motorcycle races and the dust, but on film, all you see are a bunch of bikes going around the track. Eastman had a bit of a cult following. His sister was a big screenwriter too, Carol Eastman. She wrote under the name Adrian Joyce. She did five easy pieces. The two represented kind of a new breed, the screenplay as literature. But uh, Charles Eastman's career kind of sputtered. He wrote the barely released Second Hand Hearts and directed the barely seen The All-American Boy. If Little Foss and Big Halsey is remembered today, it's probably because it's one of the few leading man roles for character actor Michael J. Pollard. I love Pollard. He steals every movie he's in. He became a sensation playing C.W. Moss in Bonnie and Clyde. He has such a great screen presence. Impish, slightly stone, kind of a cross between Bud Court and Gary Berghoff. He, he always makes me happy when I see him in a film. Supermodel Lauren Hutton is the love interest in Little Foss. She's a better actress than she's given credit for, and she makes a great entrance into the film, running onto a track completely naked. Country music legend Johnny Cash did the film's soundtrack. The songs aren't that memorable, but the album probably made more money than the movie. Honey, gotta keep moving right along. I'm on a one night stand gal tomorrow. By this time I will be gone. I'm gone, honey. Daddy done gone.